it's official, Sandy Sin is the new state senator for District 41. In this edition of Quintess Close-Ups, I speak exclusively with her one-on-one. -on -one. Sandy! Hi, Quinn. Congratulations to you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, indeed. It's official. You are the state senator-elect for District 41. Finally, finally. I'm, I'm so excited and ready to get to work. And speaking of which, let me talk to you about the votes. 49 of the 49 percent reported that you won Senate District 41 with 97.74 percent. Besides the obvious, what else does that tell you about District 41 and its people? Well, you know, I was unopposed for that particular race, right. so um, and thankfully that, uh, thankfully, I was expecting that outcome. The, the worst of the race, of course, was in the June primary, oh, yeah. and, uh, but anyway, that's, that's all behind us. I've actually made great friends with some of my former competitors. Yes. They've been very helpful, and their families have been very helpful. I just feel so blessed. Let me talk to you about the issues, because obviously there are a lot of issues when you head up to Columbia in January. What is that one particular issue that sticks up in your mind right now? Infrastructure, of course. Uh, now that we have the $2.1 billion that passed, I'm real surprised it passed, but now that it has, um, it's important to me to make certain that county council do the best it can do with that money. And, of course, that's going to require maybe some, some funds from Columbia, too. Mm -hmm. And it would probably be my job to try and breach a divide that has occurred recently between council and the CIB, and I hope I'll be able to do that. Let me turn to you about the Senate itself, because you'll be joined by your fellow state senators, Katrina Shealy and Marjorie White Matthews. And, yeah, and, and of course now we have Mia. Right, of course. So, we're sister senators, four of us now. Where are you emotionally with that? Oh, I'm excited, I'm excited. The only one that I've not spoken with yet is Mia. Okay. Uh, the rest, you know, we've been talking a good bit, and it's I, I do believe that we are going to bring a different approach. Women just approach things differently. Maybe not better, but we approach it differently. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to working with them. They're all amazing. Describe to me the following one, Bird. President-elect Donald Trump. Wow. <laughs> Representative Lynn Bennett. Oh, excited. William Coxwell. Excited. Senator Tim Scott. Love it. Congressman Mark Sanford. Great. Sandy Sim, besides doing uh, work on infrastructure, what else would you do on day one? Well, you know, I'm going to do a lot of work for uh, police, first responders, and those kind of things. I, in fact, I met with a number of them yesterday Good. on a particular bill that they're interested in. And then education. I, in my heart and soul, I want to push more uh, vocational and technological training so that our high schoolers can be ready when they get out of school to get the great jobs at Boeing and Volvo and whatnot. And yes. to do that, we need to put a lot of groups that are trying to get this effort moving together um, and especially get CC on, CCSD on board right. uh, to make sure that the parents and the kids know, really starting in 8th and ninth grade, what their options can be uh, in order to graduate high school and get a fabulous job right out of, out of school. Wow. Well, State Senator Sandy Sin, thank you so much, Sandy. I really appreciate this. Thank you, Quinn. Thank you. Thank you.